Hello everybody and welcome to episode 9 of Zack Plays Doki Doki Literature Club. Last time we left off, we were, um, well, I think the main thing that happened, the most noteworthy thing is that Monica, uh, was forced, I suppose you could say, by the, by the video game creator gods, to, uh, give us a tip about saving before important decisions, which led me to kind of just consider my theory confirmed that she does indeed know that she's in a video game. She seemed a little confused by it though, so that leads me to believe that she doesn't really understand completely that she's in a video game, but she's starting to. Her poems are definitely alluding to the fact that she knows she's in a video game. Um, so yeah, it's uh, that's pretty juicy. Um, if we have a choice, to make another poem, some of you will be very upset by this decision, but I'm actually not gonna try and impress Yuri, I'm gonna try and impress Natsuki. Not because I'm playing the field or trying to get multiple girls or anything, but Natsuki, she made me feel bad. She basically said, listen, don't even read me your poems if you're just reading them to, to impress Yuri. And I said, you know what? You're right, Natsuki. You're right, I should be exploring my writing potential. So I'm not just gonna try and write and uh, and make Yuri happy. I'm gonna try and write and, and just express myself in different ways. So next, if we have a choice, we're gonna make Natsuki happy, which of course will make Yuri upset because she'll think that we're leaving her and then she will murder us because she's actually insane. Um, but I mean, hey, aren't all women? Alright, anyway, let's get into it and hope that my voice fares a little better than last time because after I recorded the last episode, my throat was sore for like two days. It's actually crazy. So if it starts getting sore at all, I'm going to stop the video um, because I don't want to fuck up my voice again, dude. That was like two days where I couldn't stream or anything. My voice hurt. I was like trying not to talk. <clears throat> <laughs> Don't make me go before Zack. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Zack lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Aw, oh, thanks. Natsuki! It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over, t over time, though. Yeah... Maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called. It's called. Look at me. So, do you think that, um. Yuri would kind of be in this role right now where she wouldn't have confidence and stuff um, and Natsuki would have confidence if we were going for Natsuki because you know we would be like encouraging a writing style we'd be saying you know you're pretty good or do you think I'm giving this game way too much credit and there aren't actually branching paths it is a free to play you know so you can't give a free to play too much credit like there's not gonna be tons of branching narratives and stuff like that you would think in a free to play visual novel um because you're presenting anyway the poem is called jump Natsuki takes a breath. When she starts reciting her poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I got I mean, you, you better not make me do that again. Uh, well, 
do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I'm, uh, I'm doing it in front of other people. Well, man, where is it? I can put on whatever face I want for other people, but when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. Oh, friends, huh? Friends? Whoa! Yuri doesn't seem to consider any of us friends. Gotta love good old Yuri. Fucking murderer. That's a surprise, Natsuki! This is a voice that kills my throat, so we gotta be- We kinda just gotta cross our fingers every single time it's a Sayori Heavy, uh, video. And hope that it's not a Sayori Heavy video. <laughs> we gotta hope that Sayori has the least amount of lines for everyone, because her voice is about 20 times harder on my body. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, pff, that's just how I saw. Well, I guess in that case, you won't have to much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. Oh. Shit. Sick. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Fucking Ginyu pose. Raccoon looking ass. Uh, yeah. No problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. Okay, so we are going to write poems again. And we're going to go for Natsuki. I don't know what Natsuki likes, so we'll have to save before that. Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and, say, ahead and uh, save here. Just in, just in case, you know? It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. Oh my goodness, I can't wait! I can do this. I, I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Wait, why are we trying to impress Monica now? Ready to go, Sayori? Yeah! Look, Yuta, are always going home together like that? It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Zach. You don't have to say it. Uh, whatever. Let's go already. Aw, oh, tell her it's nice. She's secretly depressed, okay? She's gonna rob McWilliams us and fucking die if we don't if we don't help her out. I walk home with Say Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Mm. Oh sorry! I was spacing out. Ah, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to, I, I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day... Oh, shit. Yuri asks to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> uh. Ah, shit. Why can't I walk with both of them? What kind of fucking messed up shit is this? Alright. I know what you guys are going to say, right? You guys are just going to say, Listen, Zach. You've been reading to Yuri. You've been building up that relationship with Yuri. You have to choose Yuri. But here's what I think. I think that this little girl in front of us is on the fucking edge, okay? <laughs> I think she's very depressed, and she needs some love right now. 
Okay? She needs some fucking love. So, I, I feel like this is just too dangerous, guys. This is too goddamn dangerous. We can't, even if it's true, we can't tell her that. What the hell? Even if it's true, you can't tell her that. We're gonna walk home. Let's see her already, goddammit. Oh, what happens if you save before the decision? I wonder if Monica will, like, ask you about it. I'm giving this game a lot more credit than it deserves. But I'm gonna say, I'm gonna still walk home with Siri. You know what? God damn it, I'm still gonna walk home with Siri. How about that? And Yuri's gonna find out about this somehow. Makes no sense, but she'll find out about this. And then she's gonna fucking murder me. And Sayuri. She's gonna kill both of us. Oh well. Sayuri? You really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Huh? But, but... She's so beautiful and smart. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. Yes, exactly. You're precious. I, I don't see you in a romantic kind of way, Sayori. I see you like Mayori. I see you like a friend, right? Like a childhood friend, a cutie patootie, a little sister. Nothing more, but listen. <laughs> Your emotions are a little too fragile for me to say anything else. You're so silly, Zach. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted it, so... Sayori, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm... The conversation trails off. It's kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about. Aw, she likes us. But I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Oh no. You know what that means. That's basically saying, a lot of shit is going to happen in that time. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Alright. Here we go. We're gonna save... We're gonna save, and, uh, oh no. What does Natsuki like? I know, it seems like I'm playing the field now, dude. I don't want, I'm not trying to play the field, okay? I'm just trying to be friends with Natsuki. I'm trying to be friends with Sayuri, and I'm trying to bang Yuri, okay? That's it, okay? It's very simple when you put it in that way. So what does, say, uh, Natsuki like? She probably likes cute stuff, right? Like puppies? Yes. Okay. Fireflies, maybe? Sticky? Shit. Fireflies? Shit, it's wrong, fuck. Jumpy. Okay. Here's what I think I did here. <laughs> if I remember to, in editing. Basically, I was going through this like... I went through this like 10 times, trying to find out what fucking words would apply to Natsuki, okay? I kept failing, so I had to keep restarting. Because I wanted to write a poem for Natsuki, I wanted to make her happy, okay? Trying to get them all happy, alright? So... Alright? You, if you're following me here, so... I finally did it. I think about like, over half of these, I think, have been good for Natsuki. We should be good, probably, maybe. And hopefully, God, hopefully I remember to cut out all of this because I'm not even being dramatic with you guys. It was like six minutes. It was like six fucking minutes of trying this. Um, so the last one I'll say is pink. Nailed it. Dude, that was so hard. My God. It's so hard to distinguish what's Sayuri and what is uh, Natsuki. And I know, I keep saying that they look similar, but not only do they look similar, their fucking words are similar. <clears throat> let's get back into it. Jesus Christ, let's make Natsuki happy now, and now Yuri's gonna be a little upset. But listen, we're just experimenting with our writing style, okay? We wrote a couple in Yuri's style, now we're gonna write a little bit of Natsuki style, you know? Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, uh, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. 
And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Oh, I can't wait for the festival. That's gonna be great. Huh? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? I mean, well, yeah, but... I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayuri all of a sudden. Monica, do I usually have fried squid? Squid? Uh, that's a pr pretty specific thing to look forward to. Uh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Huh? Don't say it like that. Oh, I didn't say it like that. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon Ilka. Huh? That's not how you say my name at all. Okay, I am sure I was supposed to pronounce that differently. But, uh, I don't speak fucking Japanese, okay? And no part of Monica sounds like squid in English, so I don't fucking know what they're talking about. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Ah? Uh, uh, never mind. She knows she's in a fucking video game that's translated for English. She knows that she's in a fucking video game. Knew it. I knew it. Confirmed. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yari's or Sayari's anyway. Uh, excuse me? Where is Sayori? Anyway. Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Huh? You're spacing out again. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. <gasps> huh? Is everything all right? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do I need to rewrite my poem for Sayuri to cheer her up? Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worried so much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right, if you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed, with everyone back at their usual activities. What? I thought she'd be fine. I thought she'd be fine. More happy after I said I'd walk home with her. God damn it. Did I not do enough? Am I not good enough? Huh? Sayori? Does she feel like maybe I was just lying? Listen, I wasn't lying. I mean, maybe a little, but... You're not supposed to know that. But the conversation is already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe we should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who's shuffling through some papers at her desk. I still stand by, like, Monica's, like, fucking making her more depressed. Monica's evil, dude. I'm telling you. Monica is destroying Sayuri. Zach, what's up? Hey, uh, this might sound a little strange, but, uh, have you noticed anything up with Sayuri recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who's idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind, but I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you. Zack? I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Zack. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Oh, gotcha. That makes more sense now. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I, I know it's not your problem. It's her problem. It's her fucking club. And she is making Sayori more depressed. This piece of shit. This little piece of shit. Fucking smiling. Looking all innocent. Listen, fucking Monica. You're just programming, okay? I can delete you. It takes about two fucking clicks, all right? And you're gone. You're done. You're gone, you piece of shit. So don't be so fucking cocky, all right? If I could come into that world, I'd beat your ass. 
okay? Make it so you already feel fucking depressed, what? Just because you're having an existential crisis because you know you're in a fucking video game? You think I give a shit? I will beat your ass. You little piece of shit. Raccoon looking motherfucker. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no, it's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her, and I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. No, fuck you. You're gonna make it worse, you piece of shit. Fucking piece of shit. Huh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Zack. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well... I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayuri talks about you more than anything else, you know? Huh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. Okay. If we find out that Sayuri actually loves us, what do, what do we do about this? Like, if she confesses her feelings, what do we do? We just have to go with it at that point. I just have to go with it. Like, sorry, Yuri, I know I wrote you two poems. Well, I didn't write you two poems. I wrote two poems in a style similar to yours, okay? But I know, you know, we shared the reading together and stuff like that. Experience, but listen. <laughs> if Sayuri confesses her feelings to me, and I deny them, I don't think she she's long par for the course, if you know what I'm saying, okay? I think uh, we're going to be saying bye to her. So... If she confesses those feelings, I'm gonna say, you know what, I've always loved you too. Even though, really, I see you as uh, a friend or a little sister, but you know what? This is exactly what happened in Science Gate. I just realized this is exactly what happened in Science Gate. I was like, listen, we don't feel this way about Mayuri. We do not feel this way about Mayuri. She's like a friend, she's like a little sister. And then you know what happens? That's right, we get the ending where we're like actually in love and we live our lives together, but. <laughs> It's better than her fucking dying! Kind of spoilers for Science Gate there. What? No way. Sayuri is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it's always been. <laughs> uh, you're so funny, Zach. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful because that's just how she is when she's around you? Uh, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know? Anyway, I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks, ac walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her, but... And to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her? That I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Ooh, I wonder if I said that I would walk home with Yuri. If he's just like, okay, fuck off. Do you think I give a shit, you piece of dick? <laughs> <laughs> now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary, but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book, but she looks away as quickly, just as quickly, with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord, so I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. I, uh... I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Listen, Yuri, it's been fun and all, and I know we had some bond, and I fed you some chocolate and stuff. Very cute, wholesome stuff. But... I have a feeling you're absolutely fucking insane. And, uh... It's turned me off from you. A little bit. And when I say a little bit, I mean actually a lot, because I really would prefer not to be brutally murdered um even though i feel like by distancing myself from you it will only serve to make me brutally murdered faster 
because she's going to be upset, but oh well. I have no idea how long this episode's been because I don't know how much I have to cut out because of how long I was trying to craft that poem. So we're just going to save here and call it good. Sorry if it's a short episode. Sorry if it's a long episode. Man, there's too many fucking places I... Uh, I'm keeping this safe, all right? Because if something happens to Sayuri, who fucking knows? Maybe I'll go back and I'll craft a goddamn poem for Sayuri. I don't know. I don't know if that changes anything. It has to, I, I imagine. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. We are just going everywhere in this goddamn series. We start off with, like, I'm in love with Yuri. And then we're like, okay, well, actually, you're a bit fucking insane. So, um... You know, I'm actually uh, not too sure about that. Not too sure about that. You're giving me a little spooky vibes. And trust me, I've dated girls that gave me the same vibe as you. And it never ends up good. Never. I can 100% guarantee you that it never turns out good. I don't know why I always date the crazy ones. But kids, don't date the crazy ones. Seriously, don't do it. Anyway. Have a fantastic rest of your day, everybody, and I'll see all of you in the next video or certain stream or Rooney. Bye.